Are you ready, L.A.? It's time to show the boys in blue some love. The Dodgers World Series victory parade and celebration are set to take place in just a few hours. Huge crowds are expected today when buses will take the world champs through the streets of downtown L.A. Uh-huh. Let's go right out to Mario Ramirez. He has more on the parade, the impact on traffic in the area, uh, everything you need to know. Hey there, Mario. Good morning. That's right. And since we last checked in, even more fans have started lining up along the parade route. And hey, let's not forget that today is also Fernando Valenzuela's birthday. This guy has a sign ready to go. You just made it. How important is this for you to be out here? Oh, it's the best. We've been waiting for this for quite a while. We didn't have a celebration in 2020, a parade, I mean. So now's the time to yeah. make up for it. It's a long time coming. Happy Thank birthday, you, sir. Today. Yes, happy birthday. And just look behind us. City Hall Thank lit you. up in blue to celebrate the Dodgers World Series Championship. And the champs returned to L.A. yesterday on a charter jet. Take a look. After pitching the final inning of the World Series that will go down in Dodgers history, two-time world champ Walker Bueller walked off the jet with the commissioner's trophy. The boys in blue now preparing for their victory parade that will travel through downtown L.A. Scheduled to begin at 11 o'clock this morning at Grand park across from City Hall with Mayor Bass kicking off that 45-minute procession south on Spring Street through Grand and Fifth before ending near Fifth and Flower. And preparations also underway at Dodger Stadium for a special ticketed event. Metro operating its Dodger Express to take people to the stadium in Elysian Park and that sold-out celebration will follow the parade beginning at 12:15. And because of the parade downtown, here's what's closed. The County Hall of Administration and Hall of Records both closed along with LA Super Superior Court buildings and anything on the calendar today is being rescheduled. The mayor advising Angelinos and businesses to prepare. We are all urging participants to go Metro. Do not get stuck in bumper to bumper traffic as the parade passes you by. To firms and offices located here in downtown, the city recommends a work from home policy to minimize cars in the area. I think it's exciting, you know, the Dodgers, you know, getting this opportunity to have a parade, you know, for us to cheer them on. I think it's, you know, hometown proud. Everyone's happy, excited, and, and you know, we, we get a little bit of energy in this area. And coverage of the parade will be aired on the scoreboards at Dodger Stadium and vice versa. And fans continue to line the parade route, as we mentioned. I have one here with a group. Where'd you come from? Um, I live like a couple blocks away from okay. here. So that's yeah. not fair. Some people came from the Inland Empire, yeah. and drove pretty far. You just walked out here. Tell me yeah. about your group. Uh, well, I requested a day off today. I let them know when the series started. I was like, I told my managers, I need the day off for the parade if we win. And when we win, and they're like, okay. So yesterday. I just reminded them, they're like, okay, you can get good call to the parade. All right, well, you got a good spot, so congratulations. We'll be welcoming our boys in blue here along the parade route. And the park, Grand Park, opens to the public at 6 a.m. Live downtown, we'll send it back to you. All right, Mario, thank you.